Oh my god, I've been so busy. We're gonna get to that in a second, but first, I'm gonna go in here. Hello guys, this is Rabbit Luigi, and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I've been doing so much stuff. You have no idea. Look at my money. Let's all just stop for a second and look at the fact that I've got 1,174,868 LBs, and you might know why. I actually read briefly that this was something which was only available in bitter mode and I briefly had a heart attack. Thankfully, I can spend my hard-earned pounds and they're not even pounds, they're LBs on this thing which is utterly ridiculous. And the power up I guess I could get that as well. Might as well. You know, it's not as much as this, but I you know, I can I can do that. I might as well while I'm here. She has nothing to give us anymore. I've been to Thunder Ryu for the last time. We might see that when we come outside. Uh, I've got the last strength upgrade, the last vitality upgrade, I've upgraded my katana. Look at my heart in the top left hand corner. Holy mother of god. It's got incredibly butch and beefy and it's on some kind of pills. I don't know. It's on heart on steroids is a weird and probably dangerous thought, but it's, it's doing well. It's doing pretty well. I've got money to earn in this episode. Not as much as I had to earn for that, but I've still got quite a bit to earn. This is the last time we're going to be in Sans Destroyer. I feel I should, you know, just show off some other things. Look at this. This is first person racing. First person racing. Oh no, I don't know where I'm going now because I've lost my point of point of reference. I'm going to go do another job. We got the last side job to do in in this in this let's play. It's going to be tragic. Have you have you enjoyed Sans Destroy? Is it a nice place to be? It's quite empty as well. It's quite an empty overworld for what it is. If you look at things like GTA games where it's full of things to do, this is like what it what it would be like if it was a little bit more, more ridiculous and a bit more empty, which is a sad thing to admit to say. But, you know, we can always improve. I'm not a third class man. I, you, I'm not the third class. I'm, I'm the best fucking hard working person you're ever gonna meet. I, you have no idea. So, in the previous been episodes, we've been collecting coconuts, we've been mowing lawns, we've been collecting garbage, we've been filling cars with petrol, we've been sweeping mines, we've been cleaning graffiti, we've been meowing meow meow cats, we've been exterminating the scorpions, but in this final episode in Santa Destroy, we are jumping bikes. Guys, this is the best side job. Y you could say that Meow Meow has got that kind of, you know, kitty kitty cat Japanese kawaii aspect to it, but this is utterly much, much better. Hang on a sec. That was just my computer sound still being on and it echoes and it annoys me and it frustrates me, but that's okay. You believe in the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy, there's no culture here. Nothing but dropouts, and yet even dropouts can create their own culture. Ride those wave dropouts and race those bikes, but the biggest dropouts of all, they jump. That sounds like a suicide thing. A good jump will jumpstart your future. It's a, it's a world that only those who experience it can understand. A wide and, open, a wide and wonderful world, the god of jumping awaits you. Jump long and jump hard. If he's not a bunny rabbit, I want a refund, okay? Perform a well time wheelie jump to jump further. This is quite a fun job. If the other ones are a bit more aggravating, this is quite entertaining. Where's my bike? Where is my bike? Uh, where'd I put my bike? My bike is over here. There we go. Yeah, this is... Uh, I, I, I do like this job, and I think you have to like this job in comparison to some of the other jobs in this game. But, um, yeah, it's... it's I don't know. It's, it's a bit it, a weird one to have at the end. I've got to concentrate, because I want to do well first time, and then I won't have to do it again. Uh, let's, let's time, time our ascent. Time our boost. Time it well. Time it well. Let's go. We gotta make a hit 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 the ramp. Line it up. Let's roll. Let's fucking do it. Are oh, we failed? How did we fail? No, we can't have that. We've gotta see off Santa Destroy in a very competent and very satisfactory manner. We can't just go careening off the end of that ramp. I don't know. I just there's parts of this game which aren't as well made as perhaps they could be. And you know, for, for the other things which are quite good. Hit detection. Hit detection's quite bad in this game, and I think this kind of thing is also a bit shaky. So now! No! I, I had that! I fucking had that! That's more like it. How far are we gonna go? We're gonna go over 2,000, 2,600. We landed in the sea. We landed in the sea. So work that one out. 31 seconds or so. 
Anything over, I think, 2,000 yards gives you 50 grand worth of LBs, or whatever that is, and 50 grand, 50,000 50, worth of LBs. I don't know how that works, but it just does. Uh, you, you know, it's got another job. Let's do the assassination missions. There are pigeons on my roof, and they're making an incredibly annoying noise, but we shall persevere. So, what I did off screen is gold rank all but a couple of these missions. The, the bat killing spree ones, I can do, but... You gotta be so like tense and I'd, it's, I don't know, your timing's gonna be amazing. Then there's this one, we're gonna get to that, uh, and the other one is another bat killing spree. I've done all the others as a gold rank. Then we got these two. Single strike, I'm not going to do because it works exactly the same as a free fight mission and I'd rather eat my own excrement than do one of those at the moment. So we're gonna be doing this. You will face cloned humans. Is that what they were? Because this is going to be in Bad Girls Area. Bad Girls Area, that sounds weird. Although, let's be honest, quite a lot of things sound weird if you take them out of context, or put them in a different context, or warp them beyond what, they original, what their original intention was. Yes, we're back in here. We're back in the underground batting cages, because it's an underground area in a baseball stadium. It's just what happens, okay? This is where they train, probably. I don't know. Look at all these guys. Are these supposed to be clones? I thought they looked a bit weird. They're more than just dressed up weird, they kind of they kind of jerk around a bit, and not in that kind of way either. They, they do strange things. That was... Was that all of them? That can't have been all of them. That can't have been all of them. Where's the rest of them? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I thought that was a bit quick. I was like, really? It can't be... Look at how many I can kill in one go. Anybody else see this? And the things I can do with my katana? Oh my, oh, there they are. <laughs> Look away for a second and they suddenly arrive. You ruined my chain? How dare you? As if chains matter in assassination missions. Wow, that's a lot of dead people. That's a lot of dead people. They shut up behind me. That's annoying, right? Yeah, so the Tsubaki Mark III is not as powerful every single strike than the Tsubaki Mark II. But in terms of, like, damage per second, I feel like I'm talking about a different game entirely, but... In terms of getting out the damage quite reliably and quite frequently, it's much better. Because it's just quicker. It's way quicker. That was that was quite quick. Speaking of quick, that was very quick. How much money are you going to give me? 30 times 3. That's 90,000. 54 seconds work isn't bad. I can now do free fight missions. I don't want to do free fight missions. Oh, I... I the thing is, in between episodes, what I try and do is just get a little bit of money by going to free fight missions and, you know, just subsidizing my my accounts by giving me a little bit more money. Uh, by Basically, just give me a bit more money without too much hassle, just do it on the fly. I am shit at free fight missions, and especially later in the game when they give you harder free fight missions. It's a very demoralizing experience doing one and thing, and I just can't do it. It's too difficult. I keep dying in one hit, and it's frustrating, so... Uh, free fight missions, no. <laughs> for a start, I, I'm gonna go do another assassin. You're in the way! Because I'm thinking for the finale of Santa Destroy as an overworld, what, what we've done is Pizza Butt number one, then there was Pizza Butt number five. If you may remember a couple of episodes, quite a few episodes back, we did Pizza Butt the finale. We were grossly under prepared and we were just didn't have didn't even stand a chance we have the ultimate katana we have the ultimate upgrades we are as strong as we could be we have as many commas as we could ever have i think we're ready i mean you'd hope that we are ready to do this because what else can we add to our arsenal we haven't got anything else we can really do to get an advantage so this is uh, gonna be fun because remember we've got to kill a CEO so we've got to kill one person in this vast ridiculous hedgehog of charge attacks so yeah this could be fun I, this may take more than one go I'm not sure there is one thing I can do with my uh, infinite battery though and I'm gonna see what I can do it ready oh look at my charge attacks that, that wasn't as good as I thought it'd be but okay um, oh, he's got charge attacks too, and he can do things with whatevers. I can just do some of these, and I don't, I don't know how... I, was it 15 seconds for a gold rank? I don't know. I'm not really interested in a gold rank. I just want to do it, okay? <laughs> Goodness, give me one of these. And then one of these. That's more like it. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We're not going to get the gold rank. We've got to do it in like 15 seconds. We're not doing that. Uh, where is he? That guy. That guy. No, I can't target the right guy. Let me target the right guy. Holy shit. That's the problem. Let me do this. And then one of these! No, they're not dead yet. That's annoying. Oh dear. I can't even see what I'm doing. 
That's the problem with this mission. Oh! I can't- why can I not change targets? Do one of those! Anybody still alive? I killed the CEO. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I killed the CEO. I'm gonna get the money for it. I'm gonna get a terrible rank. 43 seconds is quite slow. Uh, bronze! No! I'm gonna have to get a gold rank off screen because I'm not doing it now. So what I'm gonna have to do now is earn a lot of money in a short space of time by cutting bits out and by doing a lot of missions which give me a lot of money. I'm thinking probably this because it gives me quite a lot of reliable money. So I'm gonna see you once I've got 550,000 or something, shouldn't take too long, I'm thinking. And just like that, I have enough money to pay my final debt to, so to society. I guess it's not actually a debt to society, but we have killed so many people in Santa Destroy, whether they are mercenary people who don't live here or just generally people who might live here. We've run over a lot of people as well, so I guess we kind of owe that to this grand old city. Destroy Bank, you have so much of my money right now, or at least you've seen so much of my money. I think most of it, if not all of it, has gone to the United Assassin Association, which are a bunch of assholes. But okay, let's do a cutscene. I like cutscenes. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa, don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved whatever you do. Listen, lady, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you, anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. Alrighty. Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. Oh shit! Oh shit! That explains a lot. So, we've been had all the way through the game, all the money we've had hasn't gone towards anything, it's just gone towards supplying her incredibly, or subsidising her incredibly lavish lifestyle. Uh, should we continue? We could just call it here. We just fuck it. Why don't even bother? But this has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play No More Heroes, and in the next episode we've got quite a big moral decision to make. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.